up what is up my name is anvi and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about all my arma perfumes i have tried quite a few from them i have quite a few from them now if you don't know what arma is it is a middle eastern brand it used to make bottles before for perfumes but then i guess it decided to dive into the like perfume realm and it majorly makes clones for a lot of like well known perfumes so so it is a clone house i'd say but it has one of its best sellers which is called club de nuit now that one is the dupe or clone for chanel's coco mademoiselle and that one it kind of hit it off for armaf and armaf is pretty widely available in india very affordable as well like every single perfume of theirs is under i guess 1500 i'd say and if you get it on a discount you might as well get it under rupees 1000 so yeah these are very affordable very widely available they also have a website now which delivers all over india so yeah we're going to be talking about uh, some of their fragrances it's going to be a long video because i have tried quite a few from armaf so yeah grab a cup of coffee or a bag of popcorn if you are binging this video <laughs> and yeah let's get started and before we dig in if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and consider doing so i would love 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 for you all to join my family and if you'd want samples for any of these perfumes any of the ones maybe i've showed before in my perfume collection um i do have a thing going on on my instagram so go ahead and follow me on there so dm me on there if you need like a 5 10 ml sample for any of these perfumes and i will ship it over to you and yeah that's what's going on on instagram so go ahead and definitely definitely follow me on there and don't forget to press the bell notification right next to the subscribe button if you like if you would like to have like a notification every single time i upload a new video <laughs> and now we can get started okay so before we move on and talk about the fragrances let me go ahead and tell you which ones we're going to be talking about today so the first one is armaf signature true then we have vanity femme vanity essence femme or vanity femme essence then we have la femme then we have all you need is passion and the last one i have on my list is armaf's q essence and also i had body mist for a few perfumes so i know what they smell like so we are also going to be talking about tag her and then we are also going to be talking about club de nuit all dry rue which one should we talk about first let's talk about vanity essence no reason i just want to talk about this one first so the bottle looks like this it is a very pretty gold bottle it has this magnetic closure thing but it's not like click shut tight which kind of makes me wonder if it will spill in like your purse or anything if you travel with it and i'm very sure it will because it comes off like very easily it sticks on because there's magnet obviously but it comes off very easily so i am not completely sure if you can travel with this one but i also mentioned this one um in one of my videos like the previous video that i did the festive collection video festive perfumes collection video so if you want to watch it i'll link it up above so in that video i said that this smells like a peach champagne and i i stand by it definitely stand by it because this is ah uh, this is like everything i'd want from like a peach perfume all i can smell in this one is peach and a little bit of like that white floral aspect and a little bit of rose but yeah mostly peach that top note is definitely peach the juice in here is also like a light peachy color if you can see 
this is so good this is sweet this is elegant this is actually a very nice elegant fresh summer perfume uh, i definitely say that this is a summer perfume this is a very fruity fresh summer perfume so this has a little bit of rose in there so it's not prominent at all the prominent note in this perfume is peach so imagine like you're having like a nice glass of peach champagne and you have some rose petals put on top of it so it smells something like that it's very fresh it's very bubbly it has this bubbly quality to it bubbly fizzy quality to it yeah definitely very fresh very shower fresh i'd say maybe you have showered with a very nice peach um body wash and this one smells like that it smells like a fresh clean classy woman so i really like this for summers the lasting on this one is actually very good so if you're planning to buy like a body mist for this one i don't think the lasting for that one is good at all it lasts for like ek do ghanta maximum uh, anyway body mists are not meant to last for a long time but the alcohol content in that one is absurd the only thing when you kind of spray it the only thing that you can smell is alcohol so you have to let it sit on your skin for like 5 10 minutes and then the alcohol smell kind of rubs off and then you can smell the perfume so i'd say if you're looking for like a long lasting option i'd say you should definitely go for the perfume version because it lasts for good 7 to 8 hours it won't move from your skin it it kind of sticks to your clothes and as i said before i usually like to wear this one when i'm wearing like a nice kurta or like a very casual kurta but like a very daytime natural look so i really like to wear this on my festive or ethnic outfits so if you if you're looking for something for summers if you're looking for something that cuts through the heat in summers i think you should try this one this one is again called vanity femme essence from arma okay so the next one is like a new purchase for me now this one was recommended to me by her name her channel name is a fragrant glance she's a youtuber on here and she does a lot of middle eastern perfume reviews Now I know her taste and my taste we they we don't align at all they don't align at all she really likes oud she really likes dark deep mysterious middle eastern perfumes and I am like the complete opposite I cannot stand oud like uh, the ouds that I have smelled before it has always always given me a major migraine so I am kind of tippy tiptoeing into the Middle Eastern perfume realm because it is exciting. The the way she talks about it, I love to listen to her. I love to watch her videos. It's very nice. If you I'll definitely leave a link down below. So if you are looking for someone who might review a Middle Eastern fragrance that you are maybe uh thinking of buying i think she definitely would have like a nice review on it or she kind of raved about this one uh, in one of her videos and i kind of really liked the way she talked about it she said that this is pretty similar to pink sugar but it's like a florally nectar sweet pink sugar is more like cotton candy sweet this one is more like florally nectar sweet and anything sweet anything gourmand anything vanilla anything of that sort it kind of it kind of i i am sold i am already sold so i kind of was getting this on a good discount so i picked it up and yeah here it is this one is called q essence by arma i don't see a lot of people talking about this one this one has this ridiculous thing at the bottom I don't know what the purpose for that one is. I kind of pulled it out one day. Ah. So, it kind of So, I kind of like it like this. The bottle is much more manageable like this. This is stupid. Arma bottles are sometimes very clunky, very stupid most of the times. Most of their bottles are very clunky and stupid. So, I don't I don't like the bottles on them. Sometimes I do. Most of the times I don't. 
so yeah this is what the bottle looks like the cap is super hard to get off it is tight it is like it is like sealed tight so it is super hard to get off now let's talk about the fragrance on this one this one is sweet this one is again very very sweet so if you get like a headache from sweet perfumes definitely stay away from this one now the way she described it was pretty much apt it is like a sweet floral perfume now maybe she likes wearing this one during the day she has like a taste for dark deep mysterious perfumes so maybe she uses this like on an everyday and this is not as dark not as deep for her but for me i think this is like a nighttime perfume for sure you can wear it during the day it won't be cloying but you have to look out for these sprays don't spray a lot on this is sweet this is crazy sweet this is good this is actually very nice so it's also available on the arma website you just have to kind of look into all perfumes so otherwise it doesn't show this one it kind of shows q donna essence by arma so you have to go there and women's care section mein nahi you have to go for all perfumes those mein you kind of scroll down and you find this one and it has like a slight a slight middle eastern touch to it not not overwhelming at all so i i don't really gel with a lot of middle eastern perfumes but this one doesn't smell that middle eastern so so if i can digest this one i think it's pretty good to go yeah this one is like a sweet boozy floral perfume but crazy sweet so if you're looking for something to layer your perfumes with which i do a lot with this one i have just kind of purchased this so i am right about here but i've used this like twice or thrice and i kind of use this for layering with my perfumes so like if i want to add a little sweetness to any of my perfumes i spray this on not a lot i spray like a couple of sprays on and it kind of sweetens the perfume up it kind of deepens the perfume up and yeah that's about that that's about our and i definitely you can wear this one on your own on its own if you like sweet floral perfumes so that's about that okay so the next one we're going to be talking about is called armaf's signature true now the bottle on this one kind of reminds me of gucci guilty for some reason this has like this magnetic closure which is very tight not like vanity essence this is this kind of shuts very snug and you can definitely travel with this one um yeah so maybe because of the shape it kind of reminds me of gucci guilty so this one is like this has like this metal coating of rose gold and it's like a opaque black bottle so you definitely can't see the liquid or the juice inside definitely you can't see that so this is what the bottle looks like and now let's talk about the fragrance this one is so good this one is definitely like a nighttime perfume you cannot you cannot wear it during the day unless you want to choke people out so definitely a nighttime perfume it's a deep fruity sweet jammy perfume ah uh, this is so good this is actually one of the darkest perfumes that i have in my collection and i really like it for that it is a deep dense syrupy fruity jam oh, this is so good this is sweet so if you don't like sweet perfumes stay away from this one this also has a little bit of that middle east in touch not a lot not at all a lot but it definitely smells like berries mushed up berries sweet mushed up berries and fruits um this is also supposed to be a dupe for lanui tresor by lancome and 
I don't know how that smells like because I haven't I haven't even seen the bottle in the stores before. It comes in like a diamond shaped bottle. I'll just put the picture up right here. And it is one of the best sellers from Lancome's perfume range. And if it smells anything remotely like this, I think it deserves the hype because it is a very nice, seductive, deep, dark perfume. You cannot wear this like every single day. It has to have like a special occasion. I also, I also really like to wear this one on like ethnic outfits or like date nights. It's definitely a nighttime party perfume. So, so good. This is like fruity, deep fruity. It's not like a bubbly fresh fruity. It's not bubbly fresh at all. This perfume is the opposite of bubbly fresh. But it's super nice. I really like this one. So. Um, if you're looking for maybe a dupe for La Nuit Tresor by Lancome, you should definitely try this one out. I don't know if they're 100% dupes, but I've heard that a lot of people think they're very, very similar. So, yeah, that is our Muff Signature True. The last thing on this one is phenomenal. It lasts like through the day to the next day. So, the last thing on this one is crazy. The last thing on this one is also very very good. All of these perfumes definitely like last for 7 to 8 hours without a doubt. So they won't leave your skin for a long long time. So that's about Armaf's Signature True and you, you shouldn't be confused with the other bottle. So they have another bottle which is like, which has this silver, silver thing going on but this one is like the rose gold and black packaging so definitely look out for that okay see so the next one is like again a recommendation from a fragrant glance and she had these two perfumes which kind of which kind of went with my vibe and i i wanted to try this one for a long 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 time and this is out of stock everywhere and I, it was a struggle to get this one because I saw this in a store, I never picked the bottle out, I saw it in the store, I just was like, nah, I don't want that. And then it kind of went out of stock everywhere, I went to the store, all the way to the store to kind of look for this one, but it kind of sold out. So I waited for a long time. And then I finally found this one in one of my like nearby stores, they had to order it. And I don't know how they manage that because it is also out of stock online. So it might it might get in stock very soon. So you have to kind of wait for it. But this one is called All You Need Is Fashion. It's like a very, very pretty bottle. Like out of all of the bottles out here, I think this one is the nicest bottle, I'd say. It's like a pinky nude bottle. And this has all you need is passion written right here in rose gold. Very beautiful. And this also has like this ring thing, which I doubt you can kind of pull out because definitely you, you cannot. But I want this out. I want to wear this. But yeah, the packaging is very nice. The cap kind of fits very snug. It's really nice. Um, bum bum. So. That's about the packaging. Now let's talk about the fragrance. Now this one. This is so good. This is like creamy. Smooth. It has this white floral bubble gumminess to it. But this is very creamy and smooth. Ah, this is so good. This, this kind of reminds me of the color. The bottle ka color. It's exactly how it smells like. This is so good. Let me just spray some on. So the opening is... It is not my favorite. It is kind of synthetic, I'd say. But that goes away almost instantly. It's a bright opening. And then it kind of settles down into this creamy smooth 
floral white floral thing it is definitely not like overpoweringly floral but this has this dense syrupy smooth quality to it definitely doesn't have like that middle eastern vibe maybe a slight bit but i'd say it's not middle eastern it is pretty modern and so this kind of it kind of changes it kind of changes when you kind of put it on your skin it smells a little different in the bottle and then when you kind of spray it on your skin it kind of transforms it blooms into this very beautiful creamy smooth perfume and i really like it i also got this one for a discount luckily so if you find it definitely grab this this one is one of the best ones from arma i'd say i have another favorite which i am saving for last so <clears throat> if you're looking for something which is smooth creamy and it smells it smells so beautiful it smells elegant so if you're looking for something that kind of resembles the whole vibe i think you should try all you need is fashion that is if you find it in stock definitely also kind of gives me a little bit of that sandalwood vibe and i know i've said that for a lot of perfumes but i've seen that when a perfume smells creamy it definitely has sandalwood as one of its notes so this definitely gives me a sandalwoody sweet creamy vibe this is like an all rounder all rounder scent you can wear it during the day during the night any time of the year so it's like an all rounder signature perfume worthy scent so yeah that's about all you need is passion this has like another one which is a black a bottle and i want to try that out but not right now so yeah that's about all you need is passion Okay so the next one is like the last ones that I have a bottle of right now. So this one is my favorite. My favorite from Armaf. This one is called La Femme. The bottle is absurd. I definitely say that this bottle doesn't resemble the perfume at all. So I kind of keep it like this. I don't like the covering, so I kind of keep it like this. This looks better, right? Yeah, but the bottle overall is pretty sturdy. I received it in like a good condition. I see a lot of complaints about Armaf's bottles that they 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 received it broken or maybe some some shit goes down every single time Armaf's bottles are into question. So, I thankfully received all of these in mint condition. So, Let's talk about the fragrance. Okay, so I'll just say three words and that will that that will be sufficient to describe this perfume very very beautifully. So the first word is green apple. This this is green apple in a bottle. Appy fizz. It smells like appy fizz, but uska agar green apple version hota to wo kaisa smell karta? This smells like that. This is definitely like a green apple perfume. Okay so the next word is shampoo it is a shampooy green apple perfume what does that remind you this definitely definitely smells like pantene ka green apple wala scent completely that so this smells like pantene ka green apple shampoo the last word is soap so obviously if you have a shampooy quality to it it definitely has to smell soapy so this smells soapy fresh green apple that is all i want to say about this perfume it is a very fresh shampooy perfume <laughs> so i really 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 like this one for the summers i've used quite a bit on this one and i will continue to repurchase this one because out of all of the ones that i mentioned this one is like the freshest this one is apt for summers this one just gets me this one is it kind of wakes you up so you remember every single time you wash your hair your hair smells like pantene ka green apple wala scent this kind of smells like that exactly like that and i really used to love the pantene ka smell 
so i am kind of obsessed with this uh, perfume right now and i am considering buying a backup for this one which i don't think is necessary but you can't you can't you can't be sure with armaf's perfumes so that's about la femme it is one of my favorites from armaf and if you like fruity fresh shampoo perfumes definitely try armaf's la femme now the next two i am like thoroughly familiar with how they smell like i don't have the bottles for those but i have smelled them on multiple occasions and i am like it it i have like the scent by heart let's talk about tag her so this is how the bottle looks like the bottle looks absurd i don't really like the bottle on that one and the way the perfume smells it kind of deserved a better bottle so yeah that's about the bottle for tag her now the perfume is supposed to be duping or it is a clone or an inspiration of uh, dolce and gabbana's light blue now, i won't say that it is like a hundred percent dupe to light blue not at all this one smells a little more herbal so if you have smelled the light blue dna before you know what it smells like and it is a very distinct dna so tag hers doesn't smell like light blue in those aspects it is less sweet more on the drier side i'd say it smells a little more herbal so like a herbal tea i'd say with a little bit of stevia in it so not crazy sweet so it kind of smells like a nice herbal green tea and yeah that's about tag her it definitely has those light blue nuances but it is much more on the drier side much more on the herbal side so that's about tag her now it is a very nice fresh perfume for the summer so if you're looking for a good freshy and you think light blue is a little too sweet a little too much for you i think tag her is a good option now the last one is called Club de Nuit. Now this one is supposed to be duping the infamous, the infamous Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. Now if you have smelled Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle ka DNA before, you know what I'm talking about. It's a white Chypre floral. So it has this green nuance to it, which, which is why it is called a Chypre floral. Now... I, I, I am not a big fan of Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle ka DNA but I, I definitely can see people who are like 25 up wearing this one as a signature perfume and I think it smells beautiful on like a formal dress, like a formal occasion. So I think Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle is a very classy put together formal dress wali woman. Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle, the people who wear it, I perceive them to be very classy, very put together, very chic, very dolled up or in a formal attire and knows what she wants. So you can't just wear this one when you are like rolling in your pajamas or when you just are going to go grocery shopping. So yeah, it is a very special occasion perfume for me. And definitely a signature perfume, signature worthy perfume. Now, I have smelled Club de Nuit. I have smelled a few other dupes for Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. And I know what the DNA is. And I know what they're talking about. And I know all the hype about it. And I I think Club de Nuit smells fantastic. It is, it is supposed to be a 100% or a 98% dupe. For Mademoiselle and some people say that it's even better than Mademoiselle in the lasting and everything so I think Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle is smoother because the ingredients used in there are much more refined much more better quality and Armaf's uh, Club de Nuit it has a little bit of that harsh harshness or what do we call it sharpness rough edges because it hasn't been blended as well as the mademoiselle so it is not as smooth as mademoiselle but the whole vibe the whole 
hype around it is true because it definitely smells pretty close to Coco Mademoiselle. There's just this difference that it isn't as smooth as Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle and I and you definitely will observe this in like most of your dupes. Dupes are affordable so they are made with maybe a little low quality ingredient than the ones that are used in high-end perfumes. So the high-end perfumes definitely smell very well blended. You can definitely smell the quality of those ingredients in that perfume. It is very well blended. It very it is very smooth through the transitions of like the the perfume stages. So like kind of transitions very smoothly from top notes to base notes. So in dupe perfumes i think it is a little bit harsh so the edges are a little bit harsh the vibe is definitely the same but there's just this smoothness that is missing in most of the dupe perfumes and it's pretty fine with me because these are very good like at the price that they are offered and i don't expect a lot from a perfume i just want it to last long and i want it to be priced affordably and to my taste like it should the perfume should be to my taste i am not like a perfume snob where i'll just tell you that the higher end option is a better option or a better pick it smells floral but at the same time it has this creaminess and powderiness to it so it definitely smells mature so if you are looking for something fruity sweet and something that i usually gravitate towards this is not like one of the ones that you might pick but it is good, it is good for like a formal dressed up occasion. I think Club de Nuit is good. The last thing on the body mist is abysmal, like two hours maximum. But the perfume, I've heard that it lasts for a crazy long time on your clothes and skin. So the last thing on all the Armaf perfumes is really good. So you don't have to worry about the lasting power if you're looking for an Armaf perfume. So yeah that's about that for all my armaf perfumes and all the ones that i've tried from armaf let me know if you are looking to buy any of your armaf perfumes and also there's a diwali sale going on on armaf's website which gives you like 35 percent off every purchase that you make so that's the lowest that i've seen it go yet it goes like for it goes like 20 percent off yeah 30 percent off maximum 35 is the first time that I've seen it. So if you are looking to buy something, go ahead and grab it now. And what else? If you haven't subscribed to my channel before, please go ahead and consider subscribing because I would love that. I would love to see my family grow, which is growing very consistently. And I am very, very grateful and thankful for all your support. I honestly can't believe that 500 people sit and watch my videos. It is very, it's like an overwhelming feeling. And I am very thankful for all of y'all. I hope you had a very nice and happening and very good warm Diwali. Uh, if you want samples for any of these perfumes again, any of the ones that I have in my perfume collection, do, don't forget to DM me on Instagram and I will get back to you as soon as I can for the same. I have 5ml and 10ml ke samples, so just for the reference. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification button and... <laughs> I'm just I just have this stupid brain fog going on I don't know why when I'm talking about fragrance it's okay I am this blabbery chatty person but then this part comes out when the outro hits I I kind of freeze I kind of don't know what to say <laughs> I don't know why but that's about that I kind of have kept you up for a long time now so I should I should probably end this video right now so okay bye guys have a good day and have a good week and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye